welcome to another edition of the Silverbird Selection. Today I'm reviewing a game that you guys voted for and chose for me. Thanks very much for this, I suppose I had to play it at some point. It's Pogo Stick Olympics, I'm really looking forward to playing this game. Silverbird game released in 1988 and pretty uncommon game to find out there actually. Don't see many copies on eBay and I've seen some copies go for like seven or eight quid. God knows why. But anyway, my copy cost me £2.50 and I'm happy to say that that's about as much as I wanted to pay for it. So let's bounce on over and take a look at Pogo Stick Olympics. Okay, let's get on with this then. And as you can see, here's the packaging. Typical silver range, black and pink stripes. Big image in the middle there, which has got a kid in a very 80s tracksuit bouncing on his pogo stick. There's a bunch of balloons there as well. And there's a very large crowd watching this guy on this Olympic track on his pogo stick. Seems a bit unrealistic to say the least. And it says Pogo Stick Olympics at the top in a reasonably nice logo, which is also on the side. Although on the side, <laughs> quite clever actually that, you've got the word Pogo Stick and then it's done the Olympic rings, but in balloons, except the colors aren't right. But I, I applaud their effort for doing something a little bit different on the spine. On the back cover, we've got some screenshots. Pretty sure they're probably Amstrad screenshots by the looks of them. And for the blurb about the game, it says, Bounce and burst your way through hurdles, discus and much more. Not sure how you do the discus on a pogo stick. I guess we'll see. So moving inside the packaging and we've got, as usual, the list of exciting forthcoming Silverbird titles, which, as is almost obligatory of these things, includes Pogo Stick Olympics, the very game that we're playing. Also that thing about five free games if you tell them what you think about the packaging. On to the instructions. You can see Pogo Stick Olympics is copyright probe software. And it's got lots of detail in here uh, in the instructions about how to play each of the events. So we've got balloon popping, 110 meter hurdles on a pogo stick, triple jump, target practice and obstacle course. Can't see anything about the discus there though. So that's a bit of a contradiction with what it said on the back cover. Uh, it's also got the usual loading instructions and some very basic gameplay instructions there, which is Z for left, X for right and return for fire or use a joystick. Here's an absolutely spectacular loading screen. I'm not sure if you can read that but it's blue and green text on a pink background and it says Pogo Stick Olympics is loading, please wait. And at the bottom I think it says produced by Telecom Soft, Silverbird and Probe Software or something along those lines but yeah it's absolutely hideous. I mean these text based loading screens for these Silverbird games have been bad but this takes it to a whole new level, a really low level. The game's loaded then, and this is what you're presented with. It's not really a title screen. It says prepare for level one, press fire button to start. So it's more of like a pre-game start screen. You've got all the other stuff at the top there, like level, score, total score, speed, and things like that. And it does say Pogo Stick Olympics at the top in a very hard to decipher blue and white and red sort of logo. Um, so yeah, pretty poor for all presentation so far. Uh, not really a title screen, no music at this point either. Uh, so I guess we just press fire to start. Okay, so here we go. I'm pogoing along and the first event is to burst the balloons, which you do, you've got like a spike on your head. So you have to press fire to, to activate that spike to burst the balloons. Uh, and. In the instructions, it says you could move left and right and use up and down to control the uh, the height of your bounce. But all that is complete lies because you can't do any of that. The only thing you can do is waggle the joystick furiously to make your bounce a bit higher. Um, and that was it. I failed to qualify for level two. It now tells you that the score required is 550 and I ended with 333 points. I do get three attempts, so I'm going to have another go in a second. Um, but yeah, basically the score starts counting down. Every time you pop a balloon, I think the score stays the same or possibly it goes up a little bit. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Um, but when you hit a balloon but don't pop it and just sort of move it around, you lose points. So that's why the score goes down more quickly. So let's give it another go. Uh, there is some music as well, which doesn't sound too bad. So yeah, so if you waggle the joystick, you jump higher. So you've basically just got to position yourself there. You managed to burst the pink one, but I've dislodged the green one there. Burst the yellow one, dislodged the brown one, missed the brown one, missed the pink one. Uh, let's try and get a bit higher up in the air and see if we get one of these green ones. There we go. 
Uh, oh, and I've got the blue one as well there, and I'm near the finish line now. Uh, it's going to be close. And yeah, I've done it. I've qualified with 553 points. Um, so yeah, no celebration of that. It just goes to this very boring screen where it says prepare for level two. So first things first then, that was completely different to what the instructions said you had to do. I found that out by trial and error. I basically couldn't move at all, so I started waggling the joystick and it happened to do something. So let's move on to level two, which is the 110 meter hurdles. So here you are on the pogo stick again, uh, and basically you just have to press fire to jump here. Oops, not the first one over. Got over the second one. And you can actually use the uh, joystick waggler to speed up, but that doesn't really help you because you, I guess you've got to use the speed to get in a position just in front of the hurdle and then jump over it. But um, the timing is awful on it. Uh, and I failed because I need 200 points and I ended up with none. Because every time you hit a hurdle, you lose 100 points. So let's give it another go. What are the first one and the second one? Mitt. Right, okay, so already hit a couple. There's another one gone. There's another one gone. There's another one gone. And I've run out of score. There's no way to get your score back up again. That was a bit better, but still nowhere near. Let's give it one more go. Okay, so go over the first hurdle, hit the second one, hit the third one. The speed's just too fast, so you've just got to get the timing just right. Or you get too close to the hurdles. And yet, normally score's gone again, so you can see where this is going. It's just absolutely awful. So there you go. Um, that's the end. No game over screen, no music. It's just use the joystick to enter your name. Uh, can't go back with the joystick either to move back because I went past the M so no I've not gone past it again oh my god oh forget it who cares okay so there you go I've entered my name on bottom of the high score table there um, with 553 points you do finally get some music now which sounds like a slowed down version of the music you get in game um, didn't really talk much about the sound and graphics in the game. Frankly, I'm not going to talk much more about it because it's just rubbish, really. Um, so I'm just going to go straight to the review scores and not waste any more of my time on this game. So first, the packaging. Well, the front cover was okay, um, but the instructions inside are rubbish because they're just not the instructions. They're not accurate for the game that you're playing. Presentation is kind of okay I suppose you've got a high score table at least I guess you've got some information on the screen and a title at the top but there's no title screen to speak of and that loading screen was absolutely abysmal that pink loading screen so I'm going to give the presentation a four and I feel like that's actually quite generous there is some music on this screen at least now uh, graphics are very average I mean they're pretty much just track and field type graphics but no real quality about them so I'm just going to give them a middle of the road five the sound well there's no sound effects in game but there is a tune which is reasonably good I don't think it's particularly spectacular to be honest I think a few people have said they quite like it but to me it's pretty average so I'm just going to give it a six out of ten uh, and finally playability well I mean there is a game there it's somewhat playable I suppose if you want to persevere with it but who would really want to it's just a really poor idea for a game one bugbear I've got about it as well is pretty much every track and field type game I've ever played you run from left to right and on this game for some reason you decided that your pogo from right to left which is just adds an extra bit of annoyance and confusion to the whole thing uh, so yeah playability well as I said it's it's somewhat playable but why would you want to bother so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10 for playability it gives an overall score of 4.7 uh, which is too generous to be honest that's only at that level because of the graphics and sound scores um, yeah it's rubbish and I'm never going to play it again is it worth the £1.99 asking price? I think you can guess it is not so there you go there's my feelings on Pogo Stick Olympics if you've got any feelings about it then let me know in the comments well that was exactly as bad as I expected it to be so let's move on and pick two more games out of this tin for you guys to choose my next game to play in my future video so first out of the tin this time is 
Biggles. And up against Biggles is... Happiest Days or Happiest Days of Our Lives give it a full title. So let's check these two out. Biggles says, Chocks Away Ginger, the film brought to your computer is a, film, a game based on a film. And for Happiest Days of Your Life, it says clear your name to avoid a thorough caning. So there you go, those are the two options, Biggles or the Happiest Days of Your Life. Let me know in the comments which one of those games you'd like me to play and I'll play it in a future video. Thanks for watching this video and as always, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.